Well, hello there everyone, welcome to the very first Marble World World Review. And the first world of today is going to be DK Mountain made by PD Gaming. This race is a lap based race with approximately 40 seconds of lap time, inspired by DK Mountain from Mario Kart. It features a fully functioning cannon and even a shortcut. At 100 marbles it has an efficiency of 91%, giving it a 4.5 on efficiency. In complexity it uses one shortcut and a cannon, but there are multiple areas where marbles can take over, giving it 2.5 stars on complexity. What the map lacks in complexity, it makes up for decor. The design is on point, it features a functional volcano, a DK mountain sign and even a river, giving it a 4 in decor. All around, DK mountain is getting 4 out of 5 stars. It's a great map. And the second world of today is going to be Spooky's Amazing Race, made by Press Play Game On. This race is a lap based race with an approximate lap time between 2 and 10 minutes. This is because the maze inside of the map takes a lot of time for some marbles to complete. The map is in Halloween themed, featuring a cornfield, pumpkins, a tesla coil and even a hedge maze. At 100 marbles, this map has only 5% efficiency. This is because a lot of the marbles get stuck inside of the maze, giving it only half a star on efficiency. On complexity, the other hand, the maze ranks up the numbers. Next to a whirlpool and invisible tracks, the map gets a 4 stars on complexity. Talking about decor, this map is fantastic. It's featuring a cornfield, pumpkin patches, a tesla coil, small church, a spooky staircase and a lot more. Giving this map a 4.5 stars on decor. All in all, this map gets a 3 out of 5 stars. This could be higher if the maze inside of the map would be easier for the marbles to complete. Nonetheless, the track looks absolutely stunning. And the next track, the Millennium Circuit, made by Mr. Pan's Ultimate Legwear. This is a lap based race with approximately 1.5 minutes per lap. While being under a thousand assets, this map is absolute madness with dozens of ways for marbles to take over. The Millennium Circuit shows that you don't need a lot of assets to make a beautiful map. It is a minimalistic design and it looks clean, giving it a 4 on decor. The dozens of shortcuts and parallel tracks makes it a headache to follow the marbles through the track. It's an amazing design, giving it a 4.5 stars on complexity. At 100 marbles it has an efficiency of 91%, giving it a 4.5 stars on efficiency. All in all, this map gets a 4.5 stars in the final score. It's a great map, but it's a lot to take in. And the next track is going to be Mining Station, again by Mr. Pan's Ultimate Legwear. This is a lap based race with approximately 1.5 minutes per lap. This map is based around a space station, featuring mining robots, zero gravity fields and spaceships. The whole map looks absolutely stunning and thus giving it a 4 on decor. Next to the zero gravity fields, the map is also featuring multiple areas where the marbles can take over in creative ways. It also utilizes teleporters in more than one way, giving it a 4 stars on complexity. At 100 marbles, it has an efficiency of 91%, giving it a 4.5 stars on efficiency. All in all, this map gets a 4 out of 5 stars in the final rank. Mr. Pan's ultimate legwear, you did it again. And the next track is going to be Winter Wonder Hell, made by Tomix Comics. It is a distance race with approximately 4.5 minutes of time. While the track itself is just wood colored and could use a lick of paint, the structures inside of the map look absolutely fantastic, giving it a 3.5 stars on decor. While this track almost utilizes every asset in the game, there are not a lot of places for marbles to actually take over, giving this map only a 3 stars on complexity.
At 100 marbles, this track gets an 83% efficiency, giving it 4 stars in efficiency. All in all, the map looks good but it could use a lick of paint, and a way for marbles to catch up when they fall behind, giving it a 3.5 stars in total. And the final map of today is going to be Marble Mountain made by Felix. This map has been made up on a mountain and features a lot of creative obstacles for marbles to overcome. It is a distant race with an approximate time of 4.5 minutes. The track looks great, it's built up on a mountain, the track colors fit into the scheme, just the right amount of vegetation and features even a banana, giving it a 4.5 stars on decor. There is an insane amount of creative obstacles, secret passages, railways, reverse whirlpools, giving this map a 4.5 stars on complexity. At 100 marbles, this map has a whopping efficiency of 98%, giving it 5 stars on efficiency. All in all, this map gets a 4.5 stars in total, making it the best map we have reviewed yet. Good job, Felix! Now all these tracks you can download in the workshop of Marble World on Steam. And if you want to join into the Marble Olympics, be sure to drop into the stream, drop your color into the chat and you will get a marble to race in the competitions. It's free! If you have made your own worlds or if you see a world in the workshop which you would like for me to play, please drop it in the comment and I will check it out. Now if you do enjoy this kind of content, please leave a like, it really supports me a lot. And then uh, I hope you enjoyed and then I will see you all in the next one. <laughs> Alrighty, have a great one and I will see you all later. Bye bye.